What is going on, family? John Candy for JJ DJ Entertainment, and I want to show you what we just got in. Club Cannon, if you guys do not know who they are, they are the people to go to when it comes to CO2 for productions, school dances, nightclubs, or even just DJs. What I have here is their big boy LED CO2 Cannon. This thing is a monster. This is our second one. I tested out the first one earlier today. And I mean, this thing shoots 20, 30, 40 foot possibly, just clouds of CO2 that instantly uh, dis disappears, unlike fog and some of the other kind of geyser kind of effects. Um, CO2 is, is incredible. I never was a fan of it. I never thought I would like it, but so many people started getting into it. And I said, hey, look, if, if everybody else is going to jump on a bandwagon, I might as well too. So let me go and take this plastic wrap off. Now, a lot of these is probably a little too noisy. A lot of the CO2 cannons you'll see on the market, they're just CO2 cannons, which, which are great. And Club Cannon sells those as well. But this one is the big daddy. This is the biggest one they sell currently. This right here has 27 five watt LEDs around the ring, red, green, and blue. So between those three colors, you can mix so many different colors. You want a purple, you want a pink, a yellow. Oh, if you want to put them all together and get a nice solid white, you can strobe them, you can dim them. And the nice thing is you have control over this if you are a lighting guy via DMX, which is really nice. So you can you can individually the, control the colors, the brightness of the colors, whether they're strobing or not. Time into your event, um, events um, colors for the event. Um, it also has Powercon, which I'm a huge fan. I like Powercon over IEC. Um, we're starting to see a lot more fixtures come with Powercon. Now it has three settings, or really two. You got you got your main off setting. If you click it up to the two lines for power on, you get your DMX, which act activates the DMX channels. You have your DMX um, out and your DMX in. So you can continue daisy chaining this throughout the rest of your rig, or you can just daisy chain it to maybe the, the rest of the CO2 cannons um, on the stage. Now, if you have it on a, a power relay or a dimmer pack maybe, and you have it in this bottom position, this turns the cannon on. So if you have the CO2 hooked up and you hit that switch, it's gonna start blowing CO2. So if you just want to possibly, you know, it wouldn't make sense to me, but if you want to just have it on, you know, a stage or a table somewhere and you hit that, you can turn it back off manually. But my way to do this is via DMX. I love DMX. Everything we have is DMX. But like I said, if you had this on one of the old, um, old power packs that American DJ or Chave used to sell where you, you can push a button, it would turn the fixture on and off. You can just leave it on that, hit the button on the, the, the controller and you can turn it on and off to spray the CO2. On the side of it, you have these really nice um, locks. Now, if you ever used air hoses, you're familiar with these kind of, you know, you pull the the, um, the, the outer ring down, you put the, the, the mail into the tube in, and it locks and holds it together. Now, you can link these fixtures from one to another. So you can have two, three, four of these on the stage, on a rig, and you just go in one side, out the other side. It does not matter which side you use. You can use this side as the input, this side as the output, or vice versa. Another one of the key selling points for this was the adjustment wheel here. So you can loosen this up, and there's a wheel on both sides. You can loosen this up and set the angle to what works best for you and your event. So if you want an angle like that way on the stage, you can do it. You want to just shoot straight up, you can. So it gives you some options. It gives you some you know different ways to work with it. You know, it's real easy to change mid-event if you if you you know had a performer that wanted the the straight vertical CO2, and then you're changing over to another performer that you want to burst you know shots of CO2 out into over the crowd. You have that flexibility with these knobs here. Again, huge, huge, huge amount of lights that come out of this five watt LEDs. I know there's some really bright LEDs out there now, but let me tell you, the five watt LEDs and there's 27 of those in this ring. Um, is super bright, very bright, will light up a pretty good sized room, especially if you have multiple of these units. You see some sponging around the exterior and the interior, it just kind of catch some of the um, the uh, CO2 when it gets a little bit moist and everything, um, you know, when it changes uh, into, into the, the cloud um, while you're, you're shooting it. Um, it does get a little moist at times, so it has some, you know, 
sponges inside to absorb that. Again, great fixture. It is a little on the heavier side, but look, for what you get, you wouldn't want something real cheap for this. This is solid made. Club Cannon manufactures um, and actually designs their stuff um, and, and builds it. And their quality, quality control in the U.S. is amazing. So definitely check out Club Cannon if you guys haven't heard of them. Clubcannon.com. They're actually going to run a special, I think, for you guys. Give, give you guys a discount on some items as well. Um, they also, they're, they're really nice because they give you guys even the tools to tighten it down on the CO2 tank. Um, each of their jets come with um, one of these tools which goes over the uh, the nozzle so you can tighten it down on the actual tank itself. They also give you the, uh, I, I believe they're called O-rings, uh, are the washers for them so you can get a nice secure connection. Again guys, clubcannon.com, you guys got to check them out. They have their stuff in check. Even if you wanted some of the handheld nozzles, they have a limited edition gold version right now. Each of them are numbered um, and they'll do a custom engraving on the side of the um, the handheld cannon itself. I don't like to call them CO2 guns. They, that's what a lot of people do call them. In working with schools, I don't like to use the term guns. So I call them CO2 blasters, CO2 cannons. Um, and I, my personal opinion is if you're going to use this in the school area, I would, I would definitely work on using some fixed uh, CO2 cannons as well as a handheld. If you want to go the handheld route, I would definitely do some fixed ones. So when you sell it to the school, you're not saying, hey, I got a CO2 gun that'll blast CO2. You, you, can, you can sell it as a CO2 cannon or a CO2 burst. Nice thing about this as well is it comes out nice and cool. So it's definitely going to cool down the room when they fire these cannons or these bursts of CO2. Um, more information, check out their website. Talk to DJ Donk. He's one of the main guys over there at Club Cannon. Like I said, great guy, great company. Make sure you guys check them out. Clubcannon.com.